Hey folks, we are now Thursday, the 8th of December 2022. Hope everyone has got their Christmas present for me picked out. And uh, if you need to know where to send it, just send me an email. Uh, just turn the squawk down here. All right, we are at a pretty pivotal moment here for stocks. SMP, we've been talking about this 3927s uh, for a long time, really. It feels like in this room, and I'm certainly waiting with bated breath here to see what the hell is going to go on. Um, we're looking at monthly bars here just to really make this easy for everybody. All right, we've 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 traded in. Well, we'll make we'll make it daily here to make it easy. Right, we traded into that yet uh, yesterday, the day before, this morning. Buyers are at work here. Gandalf is standing at the level. He says, "No one is going past this level." I like it, and we love it in the room. You are, we are into some serious swing long positions here. This is not trading or investment advice. This is really just me uh, rabbiting on about what I think is good here. I like this area. I'm long this market right now. I think we're trading. going to trade. We have to trade 39.97s. And I think with that, I think we're going to have to get back up in here. But be wary of sellers going to come in on 39.97s half here. And if they do, longs are off the table. If we're coming, if we're driving back down to this support area, thirty nine ninety, uh, sorry, twenty sevens, thirty nine twenty sevens. This, it's yeah, twenty sevens and thirty threes here on this chart. Uh, okay, and and you know, I think then this can serve as our uh, big hoopla into uh, the downtrend, the bear, the bear trend, right? Okay, so uh, we're going to be talking to Jason Shapiro a little bit later today as well at four o'clock. Um, so yeah, that's Spooz. Nasdaq again. You know some positive uh, news coming out overnight for Facebook. And if you remember, this was Facebook bringing us down here. Facebook down six and a half percent. Down she goes, finding uh, supports generally at the bottom of this uh, this zone that I kind of put on from uh, the daily bars. If you remember the pre US from a couple of days ago, here it is. So you're seeing excess into those lows. As I said, ranges love to do side-to-side uh, -side action. And I think now it's turn for the, the turn for the buyers to have a go. All right, that's uh, NASDAQ. Dow, uh, pretty similar stuff uh, to trade here. I think target's up 33,982s. Let's have a look at the daily here. Uh, oh, uh, here we go. Yeah, look, it's as simple as that on the daily. I mean, look at that. Doji yesterday. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's, 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 let's lift on up here and see if we can get some, some upside action in the Dow uh, today with the rest of its brethren. And oil, uh, let's get oil in here. Really, uh, the Keystone, you know, oil was looking a little bit uh, uh, terrible earlier, basically at about half nine this morning, or no, half 11. I took a short uh, 10 tick stop. And uh, what has now transpired as a leak in Nebraska on the Keystone pi oil pipeline, which, of course, uh, I think it's the one that brings the oil down from Canada into uh, the U.S. So there's a leak on that pipe. Bang, up we go. I think, look, oil, it can rally here. Look, it can rally a lot here, to be honest. But I think there are going to be sellers, certainly around 76.12s. And that's going to be kind of in and around here. That's a level that uh, we're going to be talking about in the room today. And now you're already seeing selling coming in 7470s, which is uh, actually a level, a level off of the daily here. It's there. It's the low. Last time we traced the tested on this trend, it's low of the 26th of uh, September. And it was kind of interesting to see how we traded against that um, a couple of days ago, actually. But uh, yeah, so you could have sellers coming in against that. Uh, it's not blowing my skirt up at the moment as a level to get involved in, but, uh, you know, horses for courses. And look at Nat Gas here coming back out of the ashes of the five and a half dollar area, back to test on this um, gap down, uh, back holding, holding tentatively on this mega uptrend. Uh, really, uh, you know, beware on that gas. It is the widow maker and uh, you don't want to be a widow today. So uh, gold, I don't care. Yeah, look, if we're going up in equities, we're going to go up in gold. What you want to look out for here on the long, four longs and the attitude for longs and the sentiment for longs today is you want to see the bonds find some support. You know, that's going to be down at 114.20s. Uh, and uh, you want you want to see the bonds kind of lining up the picture. And, and actually, you want to be looking for the dollar to get a bit weak. Just seeing myself on camera here, I look like a bit of a snowman, but I'm uh, just kind of cold today. So, uh, all right. All right. 
that's it for me for oh that one's up back on again uh that is it for me for another uh, pre-us session all right take care of yourselves and i'll be back talking to you tomorrow have a good one